intro? Or you, 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 you gonna ask a yeah. question on how we doing this? We're doing her intro for her. Right. What's the intro? Uh, you, y'all were doing it in the building. You're watching my girl take me out here at the Qualcomm Snapdragon 3100 platform launch. What's up, everybody? I'm Andrew Edwards. Kevin the Tech Ninja. What do we think about the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform? Don't When you didn't know you want water <laughs> until Anna Bong took a sip. <laughs> So I recently flew out to San Francisco with Qualcomm to take a closer look at their newest technology known as the Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform. But the question that I wanna answer here is why is this important to you? Why should you value this newest technology from Qualcomm? So firstly, it actually is more like a two-in-one with this one because there are two things that I really like about it. And one of those things being the new personalized experiences or modes and the crazy battery life. So one mode in particular that you have is the traditional watch mode. So with this new technology, you'll now be able to still enjoy your smartwatch as simply a watch despite the battery dying. So this is made possible because the Wear OS portion of the watch will shut down when the battery is low, which is gonna leave you with your traditional watch face. So to kind of paint a picture, you know how we'll wear a smartwatch and the battery will die, the screen will go black, and if we're out and about nine times out of 10, we're not gonna take the watch off, we're gonna rock it as is. None of that will have to take place Place anymore and while it's in this particular state it can last up to a week if this mode is entered into when the battery is around 20% or it can actually last up to 30 days if the battery is fully charged now the second mode I want to talk about is dedicated sports mode and this is going to really help those of you that like to utilize the GPS function or the heart rate sensor things like that which typically drain the battery because it's with this mode that you can now enjoy up to 15 hours of fitness activities instead of the average three hours that are found on most smartwatches and it's this quota 15 hours that is still factored in when you're using the heart rate sensor and the GPS. So now instead of trying to maximize your battery life by wearing a watch that's dedicated to one of those two functions when you need it, you have a watch that will give you both. And then the third mode that they are introducing is ambient mode. So this is gonna make it harder to tell the difference between a smart watch and your general watch, as it's gonna provide a smooth second hand, live complications, up to 16 colors, and adaptive brightness, which is great for fashion and luxury brands, to now enter into the smart watch realm because the smart watches will pretty much actually look like a watch 24 seven. Um, this is interactive mode. This is interactive mode. So if you see our the screen for a little bit. It will actually go to ambient mode. I need to try to stay still. So this is actually ambient mode. The difference between that and in the previous interactive mode is it's a little bit dimmer. And then the third thing that I think a lot of us should value are the brands that will be utilizing this new platform in their smartwatches, such as Fossil, Louis Vuitton, Mont Blanc. And the first of these to introduce that will come from Mont Blanc as they're going to be dropping the Summit 2 in October of this year. So the Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform is really trying to help bridge that gap between fashion, sports, analog, and smartwatches by providing new user experiences and a longer lasting battery. And after the event, I was able to talk to a few other influencers whom you might recognize to get their thoughts and opinions about what was unveiled. I think that this is gonna be really good for smartwatches because, you know, we, we can't lie, you know smartwatches have been pretty stagnant over the last couple of years, but I think it fixes the one big thing that everybody cares about on smartwatches is battery life, you know? Like, you don't wanna charge a smartwatch every day or even two days. So, I mean, they're talking about this could last up to a week or something like that, which is really crazy. I think that's that's a big deal because that's the one thing I hate about smartwatches. When it's dead, it's a brick. Fire! All right, what are your thoughts on what was announced today? Fire! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool announcement. I think when you look at the breakdown and some of the demos we checked out, you got to see that this thing can do quite a bit from the interactive watch mode to the ambient watch mode together. Basically looking the same, you've got better battery performance, especially when you're working out. So all you workout buffs, you can actually spend a long amount of time using your smartwatch and have to go back and recharge and all that. It's dope. I like everything. I like the partners. I like the Montblanc watch. I like what I'm seeing. Number one, battery life. That battery life. That ba ba battery life. And the thing with smartwatches is I find them to, they're great technology, convenient on the hand, 
but they die quickly because the batteries obviously aren't as large as what you get on a smartphone. So to see progress being made in battery life on smartwatches, it's a big deal. Yeah, they said 15 hours of active GPS usage. Right. So if you go on a 15 hour run, which you do often. All the time, every day. When you go day. on a 15 hour run, what happens is the watch will stay on the whole time. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Mike. Oh. Found oh. Found oh, 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 fist bump, yeah. I'm fist Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all. Team T-Mobile. Team T-Mobile. Team T-Mobile. Team T-Mobile. Team T-Mobile. Team 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 I, I hate the fact that, like for example, I'm a big Polar M600 user, but then the algorithm used is not necessarily the best because you can't really tailor sport modes for these watches. And so changes like this, uh, the fact that you now can just switch the watch off if you're running out of battery and have it just use it as a regular watch, uh, and even do that for 30 days, for me, that's all cool. Like, I am actually really excited about this. I'm really excited for it. Uh, people who follow me, uh, watch my content, know that I'm the biggest smartwatch skeptic. And the main reason why I am a smartwatch skeptic is because I don't really like looking at my wrist for the amount of time that I would have looked at my watch, or rather my phone anyway. Uh, but the other reason why I don't really like smartwatches is because the battery life has never been that great. That is a concern literally being addressed with the Snapdragon Wear 3100. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> I've just I've realized that I ruined my whole day. Because <laughs> I have a Snapdragon Wear 3100 coprocessor in between these, but I didn't realize it separated, and then I was playing with it, and now I don't know where my 3100 coprocessor is, which is the size of um, not, not a penny. What are your thoughts of what was announced today? What are you most excited about? I think I'm most excited to see what happens with the battery life. Qualcomm gave us a whole like 10,000 foot view of all the engineering innovations that went into this. I love that it's rebuilt from the ground up for smartwatches. When, when you come out and say, you should get four to 12 hours of additional battery life, depending on usage on your smartwatch with this new processor, I understand there's a ton of manufacturers that are gonna change up their battery capacities. It's tough to predict what's gonna happen along such a massive spectrum. I, did, I will say that I, I was hoping for a little bit more though. My very first smartwatch was a Pebble and that would last five days without breaking a sweat. Android Wear slash Wear OS has never lived up to that, and it doesn't sound like this processor in and of itself is gonna quite get us there, but we'll have to see. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so overall, I had a really great experience, and I'm looking forward to seeing this technology in action. I even got the chance to further chat about things in my very first podcast, which is something I'm interested in getting into myself, and I try to kind of like throw the camera out in mid-podcast session and capture me in the midst of it, but I, yeah. I wasn't as successful with that because I was, you know, kind of blindly doing it and I just totally cropped myself off. But that is besides the point. I still had a great time. But after the festivities of the day, I grabbed some food to fill up one. And this is my sandwich. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> oh, oh, I should've got the yeah. Colonel to talk about what he's excited about. I agree. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> Thank you very much, people. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> Hopefully, all of you enjoyed this. Hey, put the camera on me. Why are you facing yourself? <laughs> what is just wrong with this girl? Face here. Face okay, here. Okay. I know you are not seeing me with my sunglasses. It's very different. <laughs> and the hat. But you see, I'm wearing my backpack. I just came back from the warfare. It's hot in the jungle. <laughs> What's in that backpack? You don't want to know. <laughs> And then I knocked out a little bit of work and then relaxed a little bit more at this retro arcade place that was pretty fun. Especially when Danny and I found ourselves playing basketball until my arm was literally sore, which might I add is the only way that I lost to his 114 points. Why, why did Danny's whole walk change? Like, can I get a, a walk away real quick? He ain't even walking the same no more, yo. You, you can't be nice to people and let them win like this. Don't ever challenge him in a game like this unless you are truly about that life. So yeah, with the Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform from Qualcomm, I really think we have something to be excited about and I hope this video kind of further clarified why you should be. Definitely drop down below your thoughts. But before I dip out of here, I also wanna thank Qualcomm for bringing me out and allowing me to demo their latest technology firsthand. And to the left or right of me, you might see my face. If you wanna subscribe, you can click on it. Or if you wanna check out another video, one of those will be linked over there as well and as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out like a coca-cola commercial like ah oh. you, you look refreshed man. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that's mcdonald's isn't it <laughs> yeah you do mcdonald's <laughs>